Right, good day team. Hope everybody's well. Right, it's rock and roll. Good morning. Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day yesterday for me. Well, you guys are you guys are a day behind because you're not in New Zealand. Because New Zealand's we lead the world as we do. Um, <laughs> we do lead the world. Um, uh, yeah, honestly, today is really just about doing a nice continuous row. Um, I, we haven't actually done one, I think, for quite a while. Um, torture, this is a picture. This is perfect. No, this isn't torture. Um, no, I think today we're just going to really, really focus on technique, okay? So 30 minutes. I didn't put the rate on there because I just want people to be a little bit comfortable, right? I'm going to sit at 20. I like 20. I love 20. Um, if you feel like you just need to be a little bit freer, 20, 22, or whatever, uh, you just you just tick along with that, okay? So what I really want to happen today is I'm just going to be chatting, 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 as I always do, obviously, um, just really working on technical focus. Absolute technical focus is a must. Uh, numbers on screen, mm, yeah, we are concerned about it, but not ridiculously, okay? I'd rather really just try and use this opportunity to have a really good workout Focusing technique, but at the same time, as we start getting through the time, because obviously the time factor is going to get to us a little bit, um, just really keep pushing through and, and keep working on it. So while we're under pressure, we're still trying to manage and hold the form that we're trying to achieve. Okay, so really, really working well on that changing direction around the front, the smoothness, getting that drive, opening the body, and just getting this really nice momentum going. Um, as as we're doing the workout, okay? Um, so that is basically the play. That's the play. It is a 30-minute rhythm, uh, Michael, and that's exactly what we want to find, is we just want to get onto this rhythm. We just want to sit there and just tap it along, tap it along, okay? Idea, as always, just keep, keep the flywheel moving. We've got it up to speed. Tap it along. Just let it keep moving. Pick the speed and let it come through the middle, okay? And I think that's one of the things we've got to really make sure in terms of, of how we're thinking about what we're doing. We're not trying to make the flywheel go every time. We don't have to try and move it. Okay, it's moving. It's already moving. The idea is to just create a little bit more acceleration through that middle. Okay, and we do that with the legs and body. So by the end of the stroke, we get it back to where it was the previous stroke. Okay, and we're just putting that on repeat. The more and more we understand that, the easier, well, I shouldn't say easier, <laughs> the more manageable it is to, to understand the rowing stroke and to be able to, to work towards it, okay, and, and get that flow going. Um, we, don't, we are going to be working, but we want to make sure that we're not like having to work hard every stroke, like it's like, uh, uh, on, uh, you know, we, we want to be able to try and just use, use this motion of our body to create that speed. Okay, and over the, someone do the math for me at 20 strokes a minute, 30 strokes, well, shit, a lot. Over the hundreds and hundreds of strokes that we're going to do today, we just do them on repeat and we try and do them to the best of our ability, which gives us, um, obviously, our total score at the end of it, the number of metres that we've, we've travelled. Okay, um, so that's it. It's just going to be a nice, simple workout. I think it'll be really good because we can put this up and then if you ever come back to do you're like, you know what, I'm, I'm stuck with what I want to do today. Maybe a 30-minute continuous could be something you look at. And we are going to have a super heavy amount of focus technically in this workout, okay? So just simple as that. Hmm. So hence, as I said before, your rating is dictated by how you feel, okay? I'm going to just sit at 20, um, and I'm just going to roll it over at 20. Um, if you feel like you need a little bit freer, you want it a little bit slower, that's fine, okay? But just listen, I, I guess, is probably the key, is we're just going to listen to how, listen to what we're doing, listen to the machine, listen to the flywheel, um, and then at the same time, uh, listen to what I'm going to say, okay? Too late for you today, no worries, Chris. We'll see you, uh, we'll see you later on. Okay, so uh, let's start. Just get warmed up. 
get ourselves into a good posse, ready to, to rock and roll, okay? Nice. So just nice and smooth to start. Remember, we're only limbering up. Getting that body moving. Opening out. Nice and naturally. Okay, and really focus on it here, especially in this warm up. Just leave the arms out long. Try and even think about having them in the fingertips. Okay, nice movement. Good rhythm. Momentum. Okay, and as we get further and further warmed up, we feel this compression. Okay, nice. Coming further forward a little bit more. Every stroke allowing for that flexibility in the legs. Okay, and really start to feel once we get into that position and we're comfortable, the push and swing. Hey, nice. Open out. Really good. And so be loose and supple, smooth, continuous. Okay, so as we're warming up and we start to just add a little bit more pressure, keep that focus out the front with the hands in the hang. Really think like we're pushing away from the hands. They're hanging long. Okay, good. Momentum through. Good swing. Nice. Okay, hinge that body as we push. Body swings back through. Okay. Last couple of strokes. Should be pretty close to the warm up. Nice. Two more. Nice. Okay, good. Okay, so really just going to be working today on that rhythm, continuous motion, and just really working on getting this momentum of our swing. Okay, really just hang as long as we can. Get that connection through the hang rather than the muscle tension. Okay, the hang tension, so much stronger than muscle tension. Okay especially for longer endurance stuff. Muscle tension for a minute, beautiful, great. Anything longer, I truly believe we've really just got to be using that hang tension. Okay. Muscles are strong enough to hold that for as long as they can. We're not putting ridiculous amounts of, weight, um, amounts of weight behind that muscle tension, okay? But there's just no real energy being exerted to try and force the muscles to hold that tension, okay? It's very relaxed tension, which is what we're trying to find, okay? Uh, really work on today this compression, 
just let ourselves glide forward with the handle and then just really hang out of the front. Okay, 30 minutes, <sighs> perfect. We're gonna get through it really well together, okay? So jump onto your screens. Where are we? Perfect. Uh, so select workout, new workout. Just gonna do a single time, okay? Single time. 30 minutes, okay, just leave it sitting there for a second, we'll wait for everybody to set, uh, and then we will press the checkbox, boom, and away we go, okay, all right, press that checkbox, okay, rowing it together, we're all in the same boat, Okay, let's rock and roll. All right, okay. Are you ready? Tincture, go. Okay, just we'll start off, work ourselves back in to this rhythm. Okay, start off at a nice easy pressure. And just really start to focus on this technique. Smooth, supple, continuous. There it is. Okay, so start by thinking rhythm around the turn, hands around the finish, Move them out smoothly with that resistance to the bungee. Nice and smooth, controlled. And as we roll into the front, let that seat naturally just slide up on the rail, but feel the connection between the hands and the seat, okay? If we feel like the seat's moving the hands quicker or <laughs> we like stretch too far and the seat comes underneath us, try and feel that, the relationship between here and here. If we were to put a piece of string from here to here, from there, they should pretty much do the same thing, okay? And we can feel the handle in the fingers. We can feel it drawing forward. Nice. Momentum. Smooth and relaxed. Okay. Breathing's up. Heart rate's climbing. So we're going to settle into this journey, should we call it? And swing along. Okay, good. Move. Remember this finish. If we're hitting it into the body, we're potentially trying a little bit harder than we need to. The handle acceleration 
is dictated by the speed of the swing. Okay, if we're finding ourselves pulling, probably because we've used the swing too early, okay? That tends to be one of the big reasons why you see people giving it extra is because we don't have swing through the middle. Okay, the body opens up a little bit too early, so it's there, and so the only thing we can do is pull. We hold it forward. The momentum of the push and the swing handles will come to us beautifully. Okay, nice. Work and rest ratio. Just enough. The energy expenditure to feel slightly out of the comfort zone, making us breathe, working on the fitness. Good. So while we're working on this handle, feeling the draw forward. Feel the feet, okay? Have a look. See what you think the toes are doing. Handles, out over the knees. Roll with it. Nice. Remember, handles brush the body, move away, no stop, try and keep it continuous. Nice and flat, flat draw, good. Move around. Momentum. Control. Okay, so as we feel these feet on this glide forward, feel the body getting into that Compressed position right here, okay? The compressed position with the speed of the roll, here. Okay, but resist the temptation to come in and then think about hitting the front or grabbing. Smooth change, leave it out, and increase that pace through the drive, through there. And press, open out. Okay, but hang, long arms. Focus again. Good. Nice. And remember, the flywheel spinning. Let it keep moving. Getting nice. Structure, okay, don't have to talk about tall or stiff or rigid. It's got to be fluidity.
Good motion. Good. Nice and flat with the draw. All press. Okay. Keep a good rhythm here. Coming down to the first third. Okay, so just breathe. How relaxed are we? Think about it. We should feel like we're working. I'm sweating. I feel like I'm breathing quite heavily. So we push through this marker. There it is. Okay. And just focus on continuing what we're doing. Smooth rhythm. Consistent rhythm. Continuous motion. No pausing. We're working with the machine to find our potential. Good. Do that compress again, roll in. Back. Smooth. Change in direction. And then through the drive. Create it through the swing. Push and swing. Good. Momentum with the handle. Smoothness in the knee. Okay. Feel how supple we can break the knees here and then glide back with the speed of the handle. Glide to that compression point right there. Feel the flex in the ankle. Feel the seat. Okay, have a look at it. Right, there it is. That's all I'm going to get. The only length that I can naturally create. And then have a look at it from the top side. Where's my length? My handle, natural. That's all it's going to get to. Okay, there, nice, smooth, and flow, very good, okay, so we're holding this rhythm, momentum, bodies, Feel the swing. <clears> hey, <throat> okay, really good. Feel the push. Okay, so go back into this focus now. We're coming down close to halfway. Let's focus again on this hang. 
Where do we feel the hang tension? Is it in the shoulders? Because we're getting a little bit of a sort of tight connection around the front. Or can we really feel ourselves below leaving the handles and just pushing away? And all of this stretch under here creates that hang tension. Okay? So shake out the shoulders. Hang under the armpits. And press and swing. Good. Nice momentum. Good. Body swing. Really good. Okay, there we are, through that halfway. Okay, we've knocked that down pretty quick. Go downhill. Okay, so just take a moment as well, feel our composure. Breathe. How relaxed are we? Keep the focus on the only tension, hang tension and pressure, drive, and then rest. Okay? Work, rest. Okay, feel that ratio. Feel that momentum. Nice. Good swim. Carry. Smooth. Rhythm. How nice. Focus again. How's your face? Okay, are we relaxed? Any tension upstairs? The shoulders above. Really resonates down through the body. Okay, we start getting tense. Okay, we, we tend to tighten the rest of the body. The relaxation we can create. Okay, allows us to be loose, to try and find that hang, to work on that hang, that supple rhythm, okay, so feel that now, as we hang with those nice long arms, hang tension, and there's the push, Start to drive that body open. Hands are still hanging long. Comes back to us, okay? Nice and flat. If we work on that with the flat chain as well, okay, we've got a good potential to get it right. If we feel like the chain starts to come up and down, like that, generally shows a sign of using that body fraction too early, okay, and then coming down, because we have to lift at the front, like that, to come down, okay. The lower it is, generally finding we're not opening that body too early. Okay, so focus that for here, 
Let draw. Let chain. Nice, smooth application, okay? Through the drive. Very good. Okay, we've kept it continuous. We've got a good roll on. Allowing the recovery to be our time where we evaluate. And it's, as I say, there's a lot going on. There's shit to think about everywhere. But we keep little bits, little grouping, combine it together, okay? So hold that hang. As we push through this marker, count down last 10, okay? Okay, there we go. So hold this. We can break down every minute from here, take it through to the finish. Okay, so listen to the flywheel. Let's listen to our application. Wanna smooth, increased sound in that flywheel. Okay, through there. Listen to the whiz. The peak sound should be as the body and legs are driving. Good. We get that by the hand. And get that by the legs creating body coming with there holding that hand tension nice Good movement. Focus again. Chain flat. Draw flat. Nice flat drive. Hey, good. The rhythm, momentum, feel that inertia around the finish. Let the speed of our body compressing into the front act as our deceleration on the slide. Okay, don't think that we have to slow ourselves into the front. Just even try it now. Just roll, can't go any further. Okay, can't go any further. Pretty simple, right? So then we get our body start to set. There, excuse me. And then we use that compression there to basically put the brakes on for us. Roll there, naturally stopping into the front. Okay. And if we start that change in body from there, we've got a good ability to be prepared when we get to the catch, okay? Don't have to be prepared here to hold that, okay? A little bit mechanical. Start it, 
there. Okay, bring the body forward. Supple. And press. We're there, we're ready. Stay there. We're ready just before we get to the catch. There. So remember, as we push and we finish, don't lock the knees out, okay? Straight but supple. So as we move forward, they naturally bend up with us. Okay, good. So there's our set. We're 16 into the front. There. Okay, good. Right, coming down. Last five minutes. We're going to combine everything together. We're going to hold this rhythm. There it is. And we're going to row it through. Okay, so let's start, flat, hang again, nice long arms, smooth, good push, good carry, Good rhythm. Nice and flat. Okay. We hang. Push through the core. And through the lower back. Open that body out. With the push of the feet and the legs there. Leaving the handle out long. Good. Focus that handle. Leave. Hang and swing. Take a moment to feel it come to us. There. Nice. There's our swing rhythm. Okay. We keep it continuous by feeling that motion around the turn and then rolling back onto this recovery. There. Nice. Smooth. Okay. Nice application. Breathe. Remember about the face. Keep relaxed, upstairs, allows everything to stay low. Okay, both feet, as we compress, feel that seat under, smooth change, and remember, through the middle, we don't have to grab at the catch, we increase through the drive.
Good. Hey, long arms. Hang. Hey, feel strong. Feel confident. Last minute. There it is. Smooth. Good rhythm. Put it on repeat. Memorize this, what we're doing right now. Lock it in. Breathe. Okay. Last part of the row. Here it is. Ocean swim. Okay, last group in the stroke. Make them good. Good. Right, you beauty. Okay, team, great. Really good. Really nice, solid. <laughs> okay, we're done now, so you can stop hating me. Okay, but sometimes that good, continuous, solid row. Geez, I'm sweating hard. That's great. Okay, sometimes that nice, continuous row just forces us to be in a nice frame, a nice continuous frame of stroke okay to not work too hard i'd like to probably put it i think it's probably the right verbalization is we're just trying to find the rhythm on repeat okay whatever split that might be just really flow it out and just get a nice roll on okay just keep the flywheel moving over and that really is the key for longer longer rows especially like that where it does just, you don't want to see too much bouncing around in the numbers. And you don't want to go out too hard and then be like, fuck, I'm pretty screwed. You know, it is about just working through and just moving in a really nice shape and frame. Okay, so I'll just warm it down for a little bit. Do some Q&A. If there's anything in the, that you want to me to like just cover off slightly, uh, just try and put a little bit more of a verbalization to a picture or a picture to verbalization. Uh, most welcome, chuck it in and we'll cover it shortly. Okay, but really the main focus going forward, I think, for a lot of people, one which I harp on a lot about is we don't have to feel like we've got a huge amount of weight off that front. Okay, yes, connected there, yes. Got to try and get that connection as, as well as we can. But the power is created through there. That push and swing and that momentum that's created by the body is where we get our speed, okay? If we're like this, see how there's no real momentum swing with the body, okay? And on the other side, which is where it becomes hard to try and find the middle ground, as if we push too soon and then try and do that, we just quite lose that ability for these to be pushing this through the middle, okay? The more we start to work on that, the more we know that we just have to leave these handles out here, hung long, under here, down in the lap, the better opportunity we have at getting it, okay? And then this whole recovery side, just keep working knowing that we're going to get to this position here just by rolling in. Okay, like you can do it now. You can get to here and be like, I can't get any further. It's just too uncomfortable. Okay, so while we're rolling here, just be like, body's going to stop me. 
I'm not going to have to like put the brakes on to hold myself to a position. The body's just going to get there, just not going to allow you to go any further forward. So all we need to be doing is getting ourselves starting to set here and then be set by that time. Okay, we don't want to be doing this and then be like throwing hands in or be back and then having to dip forward. Okay, and we also don't need to be super stiff and tense like that. Supple, set up, roll in, there. Okay, see that? Just there and I'm ready. Really simple. Couple of simple ideas. The more we start working on them, we focus on it. Okay, the better we can get. And at the end of the day, that's what we're here for, right? Help you guys get better. I think that's the key. We'll keep that understanding and we know where we're at. Okay, beauty. Uh, trying to observe how much slip length there is before you pick up the flywheel on the catch, but your piano fingers make seem it a bit tricky. How much slip is too much? Uh, good work. Uh, good question, Eddie. Um, I would say there is slip, okay? Um, it's very, very difficult to be able to get to the front and be like, boom, okay? Now, it's really easy when you've got no flywheel moving, right? If you've got, if your flywheel's nearly dead and you walk in here, you can go, oh, there it is, right? It's like right there. Um, I would say that the slip is, could be up to like that far. Right, it's like there, there, okay? Now, the thing that the, with the slip, it's not a bad thing, okay? Like, if we, it's going to happen, there's gonna be the connection, but we don't want this like, uh, we don't want a real like hard hit with it. And that's why rolling out of the front and this whole, when we talk about this compression and then rolling and having that hang, is that it negates that slip because it's going to be there, right? The flywheel's spinning so fast and the gear has to be able to get up to that speed, okay? It can't just go click, click. So that there, it's more about rolling and then what we can hold in the body position and then getting that speed through with the body, okay? So just being aware that there is that little bit of slip but not trying to feel like it's a slip connect Slip connect, just as you roll in, just push away from the front and whatever slip is there is gonna be there, okay? Keep working on that as much as you can, just so as it comes like, and once, once rate gets up, you'll probably find it's a little bit less, but it's just that there, okay? Just really just go, I know there's slip, I can feel it, like shut your eyes, but just hold the posture, Okay, and then just know that that slip is going to happen. And I can't say like how much is too much because I think we all probably get the same amount of slip, but we just don't see it the same because we're all, you know, I'm on video, you can't see it, you're seeing it with your hands in front, you don't know if it's this much or this much, whatever. So just keep, just keep trying to get the feeling of the change in direction. If you get the nice change in direction and it's not, pity or grabby, okay, you know that you've probably got it in quite a good spot. Okay, uh, what's your average, Arthur, heart rate during the session? Uh, I was about 150, 155 for that. Um, I was, I got some new AirPods the other day and gee, I could hear myself breathing real heavily and I was like, uh, I, was like I hope that's not coming through on the, uh, on the string, but yeah, it's, um, uh, yeah, my heart rate generally gets to a pretty good spot. I'll tell you what, it's hard. You try and talk as much as I do and try and push the numbers as well. Um, she's, she's pretty hard, okay? Uh, well, that wasn't too bad. Can you please go into a bit more detail regarding the flat chain? What causes bounciness? Um, it's never perfectly flat, right? No, row bro. So, what, what I talk about with it, like, Chris, you've got to think, right, we're, we're using a machine, okay? Now, if you're trying to, if, if this is coming up this way, what's it doing in, in there? Anything? No. Okay, so what that means is that generally, like, we should be able to just go flat here, in and out like this, right? Real flat, 
real low. Now, if you if it causes if it goes up like this, we're using energy to push the chain that way. What's it doing? Fuck all, nothing, right? So the the flat chain is an indication for me, especially on what we're doing in terms of us and the machine. Okay, if we see it doing this on the way forward, okay, we know we probably didn't quite get it over the knees, okay, and then it's dropping down into the front, which means that we're lifting, okay. So there's some good indications. Whereas if we if we see the chain be nice and flat there, if we just watch it nice and flat, okay, you're probably going to get maybe a slight little bit of up here, depending on where you draw set, slightly a bit higher, whereas that's probably the level there. There's nothing wrong with that. But when you're watching the chain, if you can see it nice and flat, if you see it doing things like that, see how I've just hit the body and it starts to get a bounce on, things like this, means that we're causing a negative effect which is doing nothing to the machine, which could be energy that we could be using in a better fashion. Okay, so having that chain nice and flat, and if we brush the body well enough, so if we get into here and we brush the body, we should only have like a slight little bit of wibble wobble, okay? And then, same on that drive. If we're watching, if we're watching the chain, okay, and you can probably put a mark on here if you'd really like to. Piece of tape, okay, and if you see it go up, like that, see, see the difference? If I lift, see the height? Okay, it just shows you that we're doing something that is potentially negative, which isn't helping us go any faster on here. It's probably just meaning that we're using more gas. Okay, so that's why I always like to talk about that flat chain, because you see the people that do it really well, and that chain is just nice and flat, parallel, pretty much most ways, okay? And especially on this way forward, if there's no bounce or flick or anything like that, it allows us to just watch it, okay? Because we don't have to look at the screen. We can watch ourselves just glide forward with the chain. And ultimately, when we finish, this should just go straight back into there, straight back into the housing. If we have too much change up and down, it just means we potentially might not be set up as well as we could be. Okay, pretty simple. Uh, pretty force curse today. Awesome work, Doug. Great. Uh, I was on two most of the time. One twenty. Great. Awesome. Thanks for explaining the catch. Uh, good coaching points. Thanks, Joe. What's my max heart rate, Arthur? Fuck. Uh, I don't know. I did some sprint stuff the other day, and I was looking at one eighty five, one eighty seven. But remember, to, if you really want to find your max heart rate, um, it's not always limited to doing max power a lot of it is high end aerobic endurance okay so um <laughs> you if you really want to find your max heart rate i'd do a 10 minute no sorry i would do like a nine step countdown nine eight seven six five four three two one like we did last week just add the other step on okay and then just really look at getting good numbers all the way through and the last four probably Probably last nine minutes. Well, no. What are we? Seven, eight, nine, ten. Last ten minutes, you'll you'll find your heart rate. Okay, your four, three, two, one. What's that going to be? It's like twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-four, or something like that. It'll just climb all the way. Uh, mine is one seventy and seventy-five. Yeah, good work, Arthur. Um, thanks. See you next time. Thanks, Robo. Thanks, Alan. Brilliant. Okay, great work, team. Okay, uh, as I said before, I thought this would be just a great session. We can knock out some good technique talk about it, and just get a good rhythm and a roll on. And that's exactly what we achieved today. So pat yourselves on the back, okay, well done. Um, keep up the good work, keep working on those little things. Um, you can always listen to this again. Honestly, send any questions either onto my Instagram, chuck them in the chat or whatever afterwards. Um, just really trying to get you to, un to understand the, the smoothness that we can create with the machine which allows each of us to get to our potential. Because at the end of the day, that's what we're trying to find. Your potential, my potential, everyone's potential. Um, and I just know a lot of the secrets to being able to do that because we're working with a machine. We try too hard, we're going to run out of energy, okay? We don't do it as well as we could. We're not going to find that potential, okay? And it's really just guiding you on a way to figure that out, okay? Giving you the tips and tools. Okay, so thanks, team. 
Uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Um, we'll see you guys here next week, early time. Yes, early time next week. Uh, and yeah, and we'll um, we'll bash out some pieces next week probably. Um, so keep it up, keep the training going. All the best, stay safe, and thanks very much from the, the Sensei team. So until next time, peace out. All the best. Thanks, team.